Hi, I'm your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to be talking about projectile motion. Projectiles go up and they come down. The first sentence of the problem gives you all the information you need. The basic equation is h equals negative 16t squared plus v sub 0t plus h sub 0. h is the height above the ground. Negative 16 is the effect of gravity on the projectile. T is the time in seconds that the projectile is actually in the air. V sub 0 is the speed of the object as it shoots off from its launcher. And H sub 0 is the height of the launcher above the ground. All the numbers in those positions have special meanings. The second sentence tells us which numbers to use for each of those characters. If the object is propelled from a height of 12 feet with an initial velocity of 96 feet per second, its height, h, is given by the equation h equals negative 16t squared plus 96t plus 12. This is what all that means. Your launcher is a platform that's 12 feet above the ground. And your projectile takes off from there, goes up, and then comes down. At some point in its flight, and probably at two points in its flight, the projectile will be at 152 feet above the ground. That's what we want to find out. We want to find out how much time it takes for the projectile to be at 152 feet. So we write down the original equation. That is the equation you were just given. h equals negative 16t squared plus 96t plus 12. And we want to find when the projectile will be 152 feet above the ground. That's height. So we put in 152 for h, and that's going to equal negative 16t squared plus 96t plus 12. Now subtract 152 from both sides of the equation because this is a quadratic equation we have to use the zero principle. That will give us zero equals negative 16 t squared plus 96 t minus 140. Now to make life easier on ourselves, let's divide through by the negative GCF. The reason it has to be negative is that the coefficient of the t square is also negative. So I divide every number by negative 4. And that gives me 0 on the left equals 4 t square plus, oh, minus 24 t. Oops, I left out the t. That always irritates me. Plus 35. So now our a number is 4, our b number is negative 24, and our c number is 35. And we are going to have to factor by grouping, because the first number, the coefficient of the t squared term, is not 1. So let's multiply a times c. a times c is 4 times 35, which is going to be 140. And 140 happens to break down into negative 14 
times negative 10. Breaks down into other numbers too uh, also, but those are the numbers we need because negative 14 plus negative 10 equals our B number, which is negative 24. Now what do we have? We're going to write this equation as 0 equals 4t squared. minus 10t minus 14t plus 35. So 0 is going to equal parentheses 4t squared minus 10t parentheses closed, plus parentheses negative 14t plus 35. Now we're going to factor out a GCF from both sets of parentheses. We'll have 2t times 2t minus 5 plus the negative GCF, negative 7, times, or parentheses, 2t minus 5. So 0 will equal 2t minus 5 times 2t minus 7. Those are our factors. Now we set each factor equal to zero and solve the resulting little equations. So 2t minus 5 equals zero. And 2t minus 7 equals zero. 2t equals 5. And 2t equals 7. So t equals 5 over 2 seconds, or 2.5 seconds, and t equals 7 over 2 seconds, or 3.5 seconds. Now what does this mean? That means that the first time the projectile is 152 feet above the ground, is at 5 over 2 seconds or 2.5 seconds from the time it's launched. The second time the projectile is 152 feet above the ground is 7 over 2 or 7 halves or 3.5 seconds after it's fired off the launch pad. All right, we have conquered this projectile motion problem. See you later.